Hi, Becky Speckhart here with Experienced Mommy, and today we are talking about dozens and dozens of gift ideas for five-year-old girls. Before we get started, I'll make my shameless plug to subscribe to the Experienced Mommy channel below. Let's get after it. This category is fun with lights. Battery operated tea lights. You can get some that have Christmas light colors, some that are orange. There's also ones that look like real candles and they make for a lot of fun to put in a fort or for a fancy tea party. Those cool moon star projectors that shoot lights all over the ceiling in their room at night. There are these super cool water activated light up cups and you just pour the water in and it's blingtastic. Kid headlamp, you can get ones that like have sharks and all kinds of different animals on them. Fun to play with in their room at night, whether they're reading books before bed or just playing with their buddies. Handheld kid lamp and they're mini me sized and they have all different kinds of animals. Along the same lines as the headlamp is the book light because she said, I like to look at books to help myself fall asleep at night. There's tons of fun flashlights out there and I'll always say glow sticks. They're fun to throw in the bathtub. They're fun for the 4th of July. They're fun for camping. They're fun for evenings. They're fun for forts too. Fun with water. Light up rain boots or rain boots that look like unicorns. Umbrellas, same thing. There's a million adorable umbrellas out there that look like any kind of magical creature that you want them to. Fishing pole, if they like to go fishing with dad. I will always say the sprinkler or a kiddie pool. Consider getting a membership to a local water park. It's a blast to be able to go to those in the summer. Bath toys, cute mermaids that they can play with in the water. Bath bombs, my daughter's asked like four times for me to get her bath bombs for her birthday coming up. There are big mats that the kids can put on the floor that are activated only through water. So water markers, water brushes, water stamps that all ages of my children love. They can use stencils, they can outline their whole body. It's just a blast for everyone. The giant bubble wand kit is really the cat's pajamas with a bunch of good backup bubbles. We have had hours of fun just making these massive giant bubbles. And now into the outside fun category. Did you know that there are tents that are created to fit perfectly over a trampoline that has the sides up? Amazing, right? Bikes, helmets, all those things. Training wheels or not. And then the knee guard and the wrist guard and all the stuff that goes with it. There's adorable helmets to pick from adorable bikes to pick from with the little basket on the front and the little honker and the little tassels that float in the side. Woo! Yeah, Bianca! <laughs> it was super fun. <laughs> hey, Bianca. Without yeah, you did. My kids love the hammock on our screened in porch, even by themselves or with a sibling. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen these things, but these saucer swings are everywhere. And they're like this huge, epic saucer bowl of fun and allow you to have multiple people on there at once or just one person. Outdoor Explorer Kit. They've got like little cages to hold bugs and they've got magnifying glasses and they've got cute little nets to catch butterflies or catch whatever bug they're interested in checking out. Little shovels to dig. Three-wheeled scooter. They have two wheels on the front, one on the back. Much more stable, great for them to learn on, to get their balance on. And you can find those with light-up wheels and light-up elements to it. So there's snow saucers. There are snow markers. There are little scooters specifically for places where you don't have hills, but then you can still go really easily on the snow. There are snow tubes and there are lightweight thin plastic roll-up sleds, because you know, half the battle with this age is that they might want a sled, but they're not really strong enough to lug stuff around, and so there's a lot of really cool lightweight options. Snow cone maker kit, some fun syrups. They can have the fun little paper cone for when it snows, or you could also go all out and get the actual snow cone machine maker. Get this five-year-old a kite. They have some that look like eagles, dragons, butterflies. There's all kinds of cool kites out there, but kites are really fun and kind of magic. It's kind of magic once they get up there. My daughter loves bugs. The child is always picking up like a stick bug or a cricket or whatever, just no fear and 
I mean, I'm terrified, but I really think it's cool that she likes it. So there are really neat gifts you can get, like these little mesh cages that you can safely put bugs in so they can actually breathe. There's little microscopes in it. You could get an ant farm. You could get fake plastic bugs that look like real bugs so they can explore them safely. Maybe some of the things that might normally sting or whatever. You can also get a bug or butterfly house and they could watch the whole process from home. Now into the practical gifts, a little camp chair with an umbrella built in to shade them from the sun, a little mini me rocking chair or a little mini me recliner or regular chair. Um, some of them look like ladybugs. Some of them you can get with their little name on them. My girls go crazy over these little iridescent rainbow cups I got. Whether it's the Tervis tumbler or just a really fun, fancy, sparkly cup, it's a great gift because they use it every single day. I also love those nice Camelback water bottles. I just like to keep in the minivan for them. Mini Me Apron, a matchy matchy apron with their mom. It's adorable and practical. Uh, little rainbow tights or tights with other really cute patterns on them. Let's move into fancy. A super fun, fancy, sequin, sparkly dress. A super fun, sequency, sparkly shoes to go with it. A tea party set with a really big caveat. Get a tin one, not glass. So you don't have to worry about glass breaking everywhere and easier for them to manage as well. Also, before you let them pour things themselves, let things cool. Oops, hot, hot. Whoops. <laughs> Consider getting things to go with it, like the little tea lights, or you can get some fake flowers. You could also get those fun little honey sticks that have like honey and cinnamon in them. You can get the fun rock sugar to go with it. That flower tea that literally you get this tea that's in this little compact ball and once it hits the heat, that ball opens into a flower that they have dried and it's absolutely beautiful and the tea's good too. Adorable hair clips, whether we're talking Etsy or Amazon. Flowers, butterflies, cute little bows, and unicorn horns, fake rainbow hair, all the things. Sparkly, glittery lip gloss. Like, you know, with the fancy wand. Also, jewelry. You could get them little clip-on earrings. Okay, let's move into educational gifts. We had a really awesome find at a garage sale for this globe. It is operated by this little joystick. You're supposed to be kind of the pilot flying. It has the kids learning about each continent, countries within the continents, and where certain animals are on the globe. The one I have is called VTech Light and Flight Discovery Globe. I saw a lot of things that were exactly like it. Leapfrog, Magic Adventure Globe. I'm always gonna plug books, board books, regular books, signing them up for a monthly book club. But you could also consider setting this little one up with a cool reading nook. So one of those fun big beanbag pillows that they can lean against, a really great hardcore bookshelf, the book light. And if you get them a book, sign your name on the inside or put a picture of yourself inside the book. This clock to help them tell time and you can play games with it and it will tell you what time it is digitally at the bottom, but then also challenge you to match what it's saying at the bottom digitally with the face on top, the analog face. It also has this cute night light on it. I would highly recommend Melissa and Doug. Their toys are sturdy, high quality, right on target for every one of my kids. Any kind of age appropriate board game, my kids absolutely love, whether we're talking Candyland or Trouble, we're talking about Uno, Dominoes, Shoots and Ladders. There's a lot of great games out there. And also family-friendly multiplayer video games. My kids love playing Super Mario with their dad. Or there's all the Wii games where they can play Wii baseball and go bowling. They love doing that with their dad. This category is just for fun. Any kind of helium balloon, but the Mylar, they live forever. Water balloons, regular balloons, punch balloons. It's an easy, cheap win. Keepsake boxes are so fun. So whether it's just that cute little ballerina music box or a really neat wooden box, customized wall art with their name on it, really customized anything with their name on it, whether it's wooden letters to go in their bedroom or a cup or a bowl or a coffee mug, just a little simple zipper tote. If you purchase a large appliance, give that box to the five-year-old in your life. They can paint it, they can color on it with markers. That will entertain them for weeks and months on end. Sometimes I just wanna go up to my Etch-a-Sketch and say, you know what, 
you still got it. It was a great gift. When I was a kid, it's still a great gift. Barbies, I guess Barbies still got it too. Like mermaid Barbies, that was kind of a hit here recently. My sister-in-law, she takes fingernail polish and she paints on a swimming suit. So there's not a bunch of creepy naked Barbies everywhere. Homemade puppets, kind of random, but all you need are some skewers and a printer and some cardstock because you can laminate regular paper with just some tape. I'm gonna throw this out there. Fake mustaches, they're hilarious and fun. Just go with it. A year long membership to a zoo or a museum that's nearby. The zoo gives them access to all kinds of awesome activities in the fresh air and sunshine. And then a museum can be a great escape in the winter months. Magnetic tiles are just the best. Talk about a mess-free, engaging, hands-on toy for kids. And magnet tiles are superior to Legos because it doesn't hurt when you step on them. And they're a great gift because they're kind of expensive. For the arts and crafts category, the number one thing, art tote. I've gone through all different kinds of totes to get to the epitome of art totes. Drum roll, please. A little makeup tote. So the reason that makeup totes are great is because they're soft. They're small and they're lightweight with a great handle. I got a hard toad at one point. My three-year-old immediately dropped it on her toe and lost her entire toenail. It was terrible. And then I switched to a softer material like a little diaper tote, but that was too big. All the things thrown in there kept making it too heavy and too awkward. Then finally, I found a makeup tote at a garage sale and I put glue sticks and fun crayons and scissors and paper. For the paper, consider sticky notes because oftentimes paper can be super awkward for that age and they just wanna draw a quick little design and put it somewhere with pride. And so a sticky note already has the adhesive, is the right size, easy for them to handle with their little hands. Wiki sticks are hand knitting yarn and wax are similar to pipe cleaner except they can stick on objects without the mess and without the stabbing. Gel highlighters and coloring books, so fun. It's a crayon, but it's a highlighter. It's a crayon and a highlighter. So you don't ever have to worry about your highlighter being dried out, but then your crayons are exciting and bright like a highlighter. Sticker books, sticker and coloring books. Consider getting a sticker for their favorite TV show. And the more glitter and sparkle and kitty kitties and baby animals you can include in there, the better. Scratch and sketch art, great for road trips. It's that fun piece of paper that has iridescent stuff in the background, but they coat it with this black stuff. You could just use a little piece of wood to scratch off stuff. There are alphabet Play-Doh stamps, journals, just plain paper journals, fun sticky notes, sidewalk chalk with all the accessories that go with it. And did you know that you can get sidewalk chalk with glitter in it? Are you seeing a theme here? There's these super huge, awesome stencils that you can get to go with the sidewalk chalk and you can get these Wolverine-like claws that you can take and you write with five things of sidewalk chalk all at the same time. And you even have holders that keep them from breaking into a million little pieces. I hope you found something in here to help brighten the day for the five-year-old in your life. This has been Beck Speck, over and out.